Air pollution is a problem that many of us face, but few have the chance to avoid. Governments around the world are growing increasingly concerned about illness and premature death because of contaminated air. Some research claims the issue costs Hong Kong as much as 1,600 lives a year. Hailing Chan reports in part two of our special report on air pollution. Simon Chow isn't afraid of what people think of him when he walks down a busy street. He believes wearing a gas mask is the only way he can breathe clean air when he's out and about. The filter in his mask takes only about three weeks to turn from white to a filthy gray. An indication, he says, of what's happening to our lungs. Putting on this mask, we have to, to save our lives. Uh, I think the air here is not breathable. It's not good for human beings at all. Chow isn't the only one who feels that pollution in big cities like Hong Kong has become unbearable. It's really a community issue, and it is for us to do whatever we can to clean up, and therefore it will have a positive economic and business impact and a public health impact for everybody. And why do people leave? People leave because they think it's not good for their health. Oh, I think that, um, as, as I've said, a lot of people are leaving, a lot of people who would like to be in Hong Kong, which is such a glorious city, and who want to raise their families here are feeling that they just can't because the pollution is, is almost untenable. Heavy traffic isn't uncommon here in Hong Kong, especially on busy highways like this one. But what's most harmful to our bodies are ultrafine particles that we can't see. Scientists have even compared breathing this air to smoking at least eight cigarettes a day. There is a positive correlation between um, short-term changes in air pollution, increasing air pollution rather, and uh, 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 health outcome, which can either manifest as a high risk of death, high risk of hospital admission for respiratory illnesses or cardiovascular illnesses, and uh, also a high risk of uh, seeing a doctor for um, respiratory diseases. The mucous membranes in our lungs cannot cope with fine particles, allowing these microscopic pollutants free entry into our bloodstreams. And Hong Kong has more than just disease to worry about. When you look at uh, health, it has many economic ramifications. Apart from talent leaving, uh, also you have to pay higher cost, both publicly and privately. Uh, people who are sick, they're going to take days off work, so you know, that has a wider impact on productivity. Despite growing public awareness about poor air quality, activists insist that city dwellers are still not coming to terms with the dangers. I think they have so many things to worry about, you know, their jobs, their, um, their food, and worrying about the air they breathe is, well, way down the list. It could be number 25 of their worries. But being worried is exactly what Hong Kong residents should be doing if they wish to live healthier longer. Hailing Chan, Star News Asia. And Hailing returns tomorrow with a look at what some people are doing to help reduce Hong Kong's air problem.